guys! It has been a little while since we chatted Canadian beauty, so that's what I'm here to do today. This is my Canadian beauty series. If you're not familiar with it, I will link to my other three videos down below. We're going to be chatting about brands that started here in Canada, that are made in Canada, or have Canadian owners. If you didn't know, I am from East Coast Canada, currently living in Toronto, so I'd like to give a little shout out to the brands that we can easily get our hands on, because if you are a Canadian beauty junkie like myself, you know that we can get dinged with like huge customs fees at the door, the Canadian dollar sucks, so things can be much more expensive than you anticipated. And on top of that, some websites just straight up do not ship to Canada, even though we're attached to the United States. But anyways, let's get started. First up, let's chat about Quo. This is available at Shoppers Drug Mart. They've got a gorgeous new holiday collection out, including their lip wardrobe. First of all, I love the name of this product, but you get four different lipsticks in there in this gorgeous rose gold packaging. Feels very heavy and luxurious. The actual bullet itself um, is shaped really nicely as well. It makes it really easy to get a nice precise line on your lips. There's four different shades in there. You get three kind of variations on pinky nudes and then a gorgeous red. I love the formula. I would say it is like a demi matte, leaning matte, still very comfortable. A lot of kind of like these holiday drugstore sets sometimes can end up feeling like very waxy and that like almost child makeup, but this is not the case. They feel super high end both in formula and in packaging. I think that this would make a gorgeous gift for any lipstick lover in your life or you could always kind of split it up which is always a great recommendation during the holiday season buy a holiday gift set split it up and then kind of make little customized packages for your friends but if you have been eyeing this I definitely think it is worth it also in their holiday collection they've released this hidden treasures cosmetic crackers this is what everything looks like in the holiday collection so it's kind of this burgundy color with rose gold generally if you're not familiar with Christmas crackers it's kind of like a paper structure that you pull apart it'll make like a popping noise and most of the time it's filled with like like a paper crown and a joke, which is all fun, but I prefer to get makeup. These have uh, a lip gloss and duos in there, so I think that these would make a really fun gift, something to have around if you're having a holiday party, and I think that these are really nice. Then Quo also released a face highlight trio. They have actually got a ton of things in their holiday line, but these are the items that I have. And everything that I've tried in this kind of trio format from Quo has been amazing. So I was super excited to try this out. That being said, I can't say it's like my favorite trio that I've ever tried from them. Um, but in here you get three different highlights. This one is probably my favorite. It's like this kind of goldeny one here. Then you get one that's a bit more like iris iridescent pink champagne. And then this one has like little to no shimmer in it. So I think you could technically use this to set your under eyes. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be for. It does look like it has shimmer in it, but when you go to swatch it, there's not much in there. But really nice sleek packaging. I think it's better if you have fair skin over deep skin for that. And then also in the pack, you get two different brushes. Neither I would really use for highlighting, but they are nice brushes. Moving on to Annabelle, they have had a ton of new launches recently. You can find this at Shoppers Drug Mart along with Walmart. You may have seen a ton of mascaras. I think there's like six or seven. They come in all different colors. I have the Outlash Mascara, which is a volumizing, and then this one is their Lash Launcher, which is a little bit more lengthening and defining. I use them in combination today. That's my favorite way to wear mascara is something that's very voluminous, almost like clumpy, and then going in through with something that's gonna follow up lengthen things out and comb my lashes. I like these a lot. I've seen them on sale a ton for like five, six bucks. And I think that if you're going to be layering mascaras, it's nice to be able to, you know, purchase two that aren't going to be super expensive. So I think that these are incredibly affordable uh, and they've got a huge range of shade, range of shades, range of formulas, brushes, so whatever it is that you're looking for in your mascara, you should be able to find something. Something that I am so excited about and so impressed, these are the Annabelle Big Show Gel Liners. These are that beautiful creamy formula, they need to be sharpened, which I personally prefer. I find retractable lip liners can just get dried out, I don't know if that's just me, but I prefer something that I can sharpen. Very creamy, can basically be worn alone as a lip liner. They almost remind me a little bit of the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liners, which are like my favorite lip liners of all time. These are very reminiscent of that, also similar probably to the Urban Decay ones, that same formula. I'm wearing the shade 
Meet Rosie today to line my lips with actually one of those Quo lip line or Quo lipsticks from their holiday collection. But I think that these are so good. If you are looking for a lip liner from the drugstore, these are such a good option. A lot of the time they're like those kind of wooden pencils and it's super dry and it makes your lips look dry. And especially in the winter time, you want something that is gonna help line your lips and help with the longevity of your lipstick, but not completely dry them out. So I think that if you see these, grab them. In a previous Canadian Beauty video, I mentioned the Annabelle twist up. These are like kind of chubby ish crayon lipsticks, I guess you would call them. Some are a little bit more sheer, some are more matte, but a gorgeous formula, really great range of shades. They have since released some more, and these are actually metallic, which I think is super fun. Metallic is totally in right now. I was not on board at first. I was like, no, no, no no to frost no 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 but i'm down it's not like what i remember to be frosty lipsticks like back in the day in grade maybe six i had a marshmallow lip smackers which was literally silver so gritty i was not allowed to wear it to school but i would always sneak it to school and wear it because you know i'm a bit of a rebel but these are totally different there is you can kind of feel the shimmer in there, but it's nothing that feels drying or super gritty on the lips. When the color does wear off, though, you will get a little bit of something left on your lips. Nothing totally obnoxious, but I really, really like the shades. I'm actually wearing like a ton of lip products today, but I'm wearing Nude of Fame over that lipstick and lip liner. Really, really like these. I hope to have blog posts up on all of this in the coming weeks. Just SamanthaJaneYT.com. I like to house like lip swatches and stuff there so it's easy for you guys to go take a look and see what everything uh, looks like on the lips and swatched on my skin tone. So I've really been enjoying these. I think that this one here in the shade Purple Panache is another favorite of mine, especially the deeper metallic shades. They just look so good for the holidays. They've also extended their Lipsies line, which are kind of like that Maybelline baby lips, tinted lip balm kind of thing. They all smell great. Super fruity. These ones are actually diamond. So again, they've added a little bit of shimmer in there. Not really my favorite. It feels a little bit more juvenile. That doesn't make them a bad product, just a personal preference for me. But they do have a nice bit of color, a little bit of shimmer in there, and I think they'd make a really nice stocking stuffer. One of the more popular Canadian brands, in my mind anyways, is Bite beauty they're based out of here in toronto they've got a lip lab here now as well and i've also been to their lip lab in new york i vlogged my whole experience making a custom lipstick super fun so i will link to that down below this is my favorite set that they've come out with it is the perfect bite it's the Am amuse bouche lipsticks in four little minis here so you get fig pepper which is a favorite of mine honeycomb and nori i think that this be would be great for anybody who isn't super into makeup not super daring with colors because you get three kind of neutrally pinkies in there and then also you get the shade nori which is a little bit deeper you can wear it on your on its own add it into one of the lighter lipsticks comes in this gorgeous gold sleeve and then you've also got a nice red tin in here which makes it very giftable you barely need to wrap it up then also you would have seen me mention in a Sephora VIB haul, I picked up the Pepper and Bronze Duo. So I think that if you have somebody in your life or just yourself, because you know, everybody likes to shop for themselves at the holidays too, I know I do. But if you have somebody in your life who is a little bit more daring in lipsticks, they've already got like a hundred different shades. These are tons of fun because in the Duo, not only do you get one of their lipstick shades, but they all come with some kind of metallic top coat. So rose gold is gorgeous. That comes paired with fig. Then you're also getting a gold top coat, which is paired with sour cherry. Sour cherry is such a gorgeous color. And then you also get the shade jam, which is paired up with opal. And then of course I mentioned, and you would have seen in that haul, uh, the pepper and bronze duo. These are quite small, but they're like $17, a great stocking stuffer, really good for Secret Santa. And I think that they're just so cute. Again, if you have somebody who is just getting into makeup or isn't super familiar with Bite Beauty. This is their Discovery set. I've already gone and like ripped off the cover because I got super eager and accidentally threw it out. But you get two full-size lipsticks in here. So you get one of their matte lip creams. This is in the shade Lychee. Then you're also getting another full-size lipstick in the shade Beetroot, which is very, very pretty. It's kind of like beetroot, I guess. Then you're also getting a lip primer slash liner. It's kind of one of those invisible ones. And then this is their agave lip mask, which I feel like that is kind of what started everybody's obsession with Bite Beauty was their agave lip mask. Super thick, great for nighttime, great if you're going to be spending a lot of time outdoors in the winter. And this is such a nice little set to introduce somebody to Bite Beauty. Moving on to Marcel. This, of course, is also available at Shoppers Drug Mart and Walmart, and they do a kick-ass job with makeup removers. 
colors. So I was really excited to give this guy a try. It is their Micellar Gel Eye Makeup Remover. I've never seen a Micellar Gel before. This is for waterproof makeup. It is soothing and depuffing, and I can totally agree. It feels really nice on a cotton pad on your eye. They do a great job of makeup removers. There's also a blue one for sensitive eyes that I've repurchased time and time again. Then also their Ultra Gentle Cleansing Gel. This is foaming and gigantic. There's 11.8 fluid ounces in here, so you'll like never run through this ever. It's all um, tested by, or sorry, recognized by the Canadian Dermatology Association, all of their makeup removers and things like that. Very good for your skin, very gentle if you have sensitive skin. And then I think think this is a little bit newer, but I've really been enjoying it. It's their Hydra C Eye Contour Gel Cream. Yes. And I have actually never tried an eye cream that had one of these kind of like pointed metal tips on them. And I was kind of like, is it actually cooling? But it feels so good. It's nice and light under the eyes. I like using this in the morning before my makeup. It goes on really nicely and it's not too heavy. You get a good bit of product in here as well. You get 15 milliliters in here, which is good for an eye cream. Eye creams are always very small and very expensive. And I think that this one is a really nice option and vitamin C is so good for darkness and correcting any kind of coloration you might have under your eyes. I can't really attest to that. I've only been using it for a few weeks, but I really like it. Up next from Marcel are their Rouge Expression Lipsticks. These have been out for about a year, but I did want to mention them because I've got a really nice formula. The three that I have are, I would say, a cream finish. There's a nice sheen to them, but still very full of pigment. I've got the shades Show of Pink, which is a gorgeous, bright, almost corally pink. Then Pink Lace is a little bit more of a nudie pink. And then also a Berry Blossom, which of course leans a little bit more berry. I feel like Marcel and Annabelle totally get overlooked at the drugstore, so I always just want to, even if it's a quick mention, just kind of show you what the products are because if you're unfamiliar with the brand you may be hesitant to purchase and especially at the drugstore a lot of the time anyways in Canada I think you can't really return the product so it is a bit more of a risk even um, in comparison to purchasing something at Sephora because that can be returned so if you have been eyeing these I really do like them. Lastly from Marcel, I want to mention their face powder. I know that this is quite popular, if not a cult favorite, I think. This is in the shade Translucent Medium. Unfortunately, it's very pink toned, so I would like to try just their regular translucent one. Uh, I wouldn't really want to set the, use this to like bake under my eyes, because I find if I use anything at all pink toned, then it just really shows up super pink on my skin tone. I need something that's more warm, more yellow, or just like a white translucent product. That being said, it is incredibly incredibly finely milled. It feels beautiful on the skin. I've tested it on days where I know that I don't have to be on camera and you get a ton of product in here. 70 grams of powder. This is gigantic. So if you can find one that works for your skin tone, uh, definitely recommend. A brand that is very close to home is Dion Cosmetics and they are from East Coast Canada, which is super cool. They sent me along some of their products to test out. I will do an oily skin diaries on this foundation. I've just been waiting to lose my summer color in like February. I get pretty ghosty. This is their only foundation SPF 15 in the shade 115. I've also got their mattifying primer which I've used in a video before which I will link to down below. Then they also sent along the corresponding powder to go with the foundation. Then they've also got a highlighter. This one is in the shade Goddess. I find both of the powders a little bit stiff and dry but the highlight is a great shade. It's kind of a champagne-y color, not too warm and not too cool. So I think it would work for a lot of people. And I'm always just so excited to get to like test out a product that is so close to home. And I'm really pumped to get to try that foundation. So as soon as I get to, you know, lose a little bit of this color, that video will be going up. Recently, I was contacted by Trade Secrets to test out some of the Curl Keeper line. I've got an entire blog post on my thoughts of the line and individual products, which I will link to down below. But in doing my research for my blog post, I realized that Curl Keeper is Canadian, actually based out of here in Toronto. And the 30 second detangler slip is, I think one of their most popular products, but I really love this for day two curls. I actually washed my hair yesterday, so my hair could look better. Still working on the day two curls. If you have any tips, let me know down below. But this is super nice, really lightweight, doesn't weigh my hair down. Then I also used a little bit of this uh, Total Control for frizzy hair. The biggest difference I find about this in comparison to other more like liquidy gels is that it's truly liquid. It's very watery, which almost sounds like a negative, but it is not at all. Like it, you know how like gels can get like so goopy and sticky and like heavy in your hair. This just like slips and slides through your hair. It really does help with the frizziness and I've really been enjoying it. Everything retails for about like 17, 18 bucks, which I think is great. Um, and then this is also their hairspray in a cream form. So I was reading up on this 
this and basically they said that this is supposed to do what uh, hairspray does for straight hair for curly hair so whether you're putting your hair back in a bun you're trying to refresh hair on day two this is something that you can use again formulated without any silicones or anything like that and um, I've really been enjoying this line I don't have it here in front of me because it's just like too big to hold up and you would have seen it in a previous video but I wanted to mention that posh organizers are Canadian which I think is awesome and I briefly mentioned it in that video but when you're purchasing an acrylic makeup organizer first of all they can be very hard to find listed in American pricing you can get dinged at the door because that's a big old box with customs fees and it's always nice to support a Canadian brand and shipping will probably be faster too but I have been loving this organizer I've been on the hunt for an acrylic organizer organizer for what feels like years probably when I first started watching YouTube I was like yes I need one of those so I finally got my hands on one and I have a coupon code if you guys are looking to organize your makeup in a cute but still functional way so I will list that all down below but I did want to mention that they are Canadian and they are awesome and my life is forever changed now that I have an acrylic organizer I feel super legit lastly I want to mention the brand flawless by Friday I've chatted about them before again a Canadian brand based out of here in Toronto and they make the most gorgeous skincare sets if you are looking to gift something to somebody for Christmas and they're kind of a skincare junkie they love doing like routines and regimens they have lots of cool things that are like five sheet masks for five days and each day does something different and it's kind of formulated to work in sequence they've recently released a new line this is all upside down this is their honey and gold line they've got sheet masks in the line and then they've also got eye masks and these eye masks really came in handy when I was having some weird like under eye issues about a week or two ago you would have seen on snapchat but um these are super cooling really nice and moisturizing under the eyes also in this line they have released oh there it all goes the plumping hydrating and anti-aging lip serum this i don't love as much it feels slightly gritty because there are little bits of i guess gold in there um but it does look really nice on the lips make your makes your lips look super plump and then they also sent along this Forever Flawless Serum. This is a nice hydrating serum, still a very lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy or greasy. I'll mix it in with my moisturizer. Sometimes I'll use it on its own, but I think that this is an awesome product. So there you have it. Those are some new and some old products from All Canadian. Oh shit. 